All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And this one is going to be uh, probably the biggest trade I've ever completed. Um, I've done a lot of really big buying and selling deals. Uh, but in terms of trading, this one is, uh, is going to rank up there near the top. Uh, so if you follow my uh, post on YouTube, which I think it's called Community on YouTube, I, uh, I'll post updates there from time to time, uh, but I posted the other day that uh, the Luca Tiger Stripe I got was short-lived. Um, and just to be completely honest, uh, there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, one, I didn't really have much in the Luca. Uh, I got the Luca back in uh, early September, uh, and the card at the time was worth... I think the last BGS nine at that time did about a thousand dollars. Um, so <clears throat> to get the card raw and turn it into a PSA 10, uh, is nearly 10 times what it was worth back then. And I didn't have that into it. Uh, so it was a wonderful, uh, investment type piece that ended up working out very, very well. Um, and I was certainly appreciative or, uh, grateful of that. Uh, but the other big one is, uh, while I like Luca and I think Luca is a super super superstar in the league, I uh, <clears throat> I I just feel a little more confident in the cards that I got. Um, it's not that Luca's not going to be awesome. I really think Luca is a future again future star in the league. Um, I just again I'm in the you know I'm gonna I own my own business and uh, I would like to be a little more risk. Uh, Try to be a, like a little less risky where I can. Uh, I've moved a couple of different uh, assets around of things that I've uh, I've kept for a while. So um, I just thought these were safer. And again, these are cards that I've honestly wanted for for quite some time. So to be able to turn a Luca, I didn't really have much into uh, or much in into cards. Uh, uh, two cards that I uh, I uh, I just I like more uh, was was uh, was kind of a no brainer for me. Um, again, like I said, I wasn't really in a rush to move the Luca. Uh, I just, I wasn't dead set on keeping it forever, but I also didn't expect it to be traded in, uh, you know, a week. And I know everyone's like, Hey, you just posted the video yesterday that said, you're not, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're going to keep this. Um, the video was filmed a couple days in earlier, um, about five days earlier, <clears throat> I think. Um, just when I hadn't got around to posting. Um, but yeah, either way, again, it wasn't my intention. It just kind of the way it worked out. So, uh, this, I'm going to open this first. This is a, this is a different package, but I got this at the same time. And I think this is the only current piece of mail I'm, uh, I currently have besides this. So I figure I'll just, uh, open this on here too. show you guys what I've been picking up. <clears throat> this was a, uh, Instagram deal. I had forgot about, I bought this a while ago. I just, I don't know if it took a while to ship or if it took a while to, uh, to get to me, but, uh, I paid $12 for this. Um, Carson Edwards, Prism, uh, Silver, Rookie Penmanship Auto. Uh, I still have faith in Edwards. Um, I get it, Boston Steve, and there's a lot of talent on there. Just, you only need one. I mean, dude comes out and starts putting up a ton of points. Uh, his stuff will, will bum. So, maybe it won't, but for, uh, for $12, I was certainly, uh, certainly willing to buy that and just kind of see what happened, so... Nothing super crazy there. Not a really a whole lot of risk, but, uh, but yeah. All right. <clears throat> so I've covered up the addresses. We did ship overnight. Uh, it's coming from Clarksville one day, 2560. I always just like with big deals like this. I always just like to show the, uh, packaging. I have not opened this, uh, just in case something were to go wrong. I don't expect there to be, uh, this guy had quite a few references. He actually hit me up via email, said that a friend had sent him a screenshot to the Luca and that he was looking for that card, uh, and then it led to Facebook, where we were uh, both able to successfully get uh, multiple references. So, I was given a couple different offers for this card, uh, a couple different from uh, the gentleman I traded with, his name was uh, Matthew, uh, and then I was given some other offers for the well, some serious, uh, serious, serious uh, cash offers, uh, but I didn't... Uh, I didn't really, really need the money per se. And to be able to get these cards, you have to pay top, top dollar for them. Uh, so I figured it just makes more sense 
to just get cards I want that I'm going to hold for a while. So I do, I'll be honest, I do plan on holding these. Um, now, again, cash is king, so that could always change. But these will probably go in a box where I just, you know, with my other Giannis and LeBron stuff that I've got put away for a rainy day. So I will definitely not be actively uh, getting rid of these, but we will, uh, again, don't ever make promises, never say never. So... There they are. All right, so card number one. Boom. This is freaking crazy, man. Wow. Man, I wanted to own one of these. LeBron Tops Chrome Refractor PSA 9. Holy cow. Man, what a card. Definitely off centers. You can definitely tell it's not a it's not a strong candidate to bump. But man, this is so cool. LeBron Tops Chrome Rookie Refractor PSA 9. Newer PSA holder. So you don't have to worry about regrading it or uh, reslabbing it with an if it's an old holder. Nice I mean, what a good looking card. Shooting over what I is, I, I think is Ben Wallace. Just an iconic card, iconic pose. Again, that was one of the things I really talked about when I made the trade, when I talked to a lot of people about this, because I just, obviously, when you make trades this big, you, uh, you ask for people's advice. Um, but, like, the two cards I got are really, and I posted this on my community thing, uh, these are, like, staple cards for basketball. Like, when you think of basketball cards, like, true rookie cards, you know, this is one of LeBron's best true rookie cards. Um... It's not autographed. I mean, the, the the chrome. I mean, look at the silver market. That's that comes from refractor type stuff from the '90s. From you know, cards like this, refractors. I mean, again, silvers of modern day players sell for a lot of money. Um, it's not for no reason. It's definitely because uh, of stuff like this. So this is a staple. Again, a staple basketball card. This is uh, not one that I see going down anytime soon. Uh, it just. Again, something you can always move. This is a this is definitely a liquid asset. You know, if you ever really needed to move it, there's the there'd be a line of people ready to to buy this. So, uh, just for numbers perspectives, uh, so you guys can get an idea of like the value on these. Uh, the last PSA nine sold on Probstein, I think about a week ago. Uh, now this video will probably be posted the day after I film this, uh, but a week ago, and I think it did about forty six fifty at bids. Um, so just to give you an idea of what it's worth. So, uh, again, that is card number one is a, uh, LeBron Tops Chrome. Now I'll be honest, when, just my thought process. So if anyone has any, any questions about why or what or how, uh, I was offered this in cash, the other card in cash or both of these cards. So I will tell you guys, just again, I appreciate those that watch the video. I got both of these cards for the Luca in 250 bucks. We both overnighted them, so that's an additional cost. But $250 in my Luca for both of these cards. Uh, again, I was offered this in cash, the other card in cash, or this and the other card for my card in $250. Uh, I decided to go with both of these cards. I would rather have both. Didn't Again, didn't really need all the, all the money. Um, so decided I would rather have uh, two staple cards instead of uh, one card in cash. Um, just because I don't think I'll be able to get these at a... At a good buying price so <clears throat> again that is card number one card number two is this guy um so long story short i picked up one of these raw at uh uh in chicago in 20 what has been this would have been november at the fanatic show and wouldn't have been the last year. It would have been the year before. So was that 20, 2018? Right after. I think this has been... Has this been right after my wedding? Yeah, I think so. Um, 
went to Chicago, had just sold a James Harden, Chris Paul logo, man, uh, and had a decent amount of cash on me and was looking for this card. Uh, at the time, these sold raw for about $900 to about $1,200. Uh, ended up buying a raw one, and I will make a video of my Yana stuff at some point so you guys can see this. But I ended up getting one of them and uh, bought it raw, and it was just a really crappy situation. I don't want to go too into it, into it too much, um, but was not made aware that there was a very minor crease that was almost impossible to see, uh, and it runs from like here to here, and you can't see it. Um, it's actually a little indent on the back of this, it looks like, um, but there was like a little crease, and it runs from like here to here, I think, uh, and I mean, it's nearly impossible to see. I had four people look at the card because I, I RCR'd it at the show. I ended up getting like an RCR four. Uh, it was just a really crap situation, uh, but it is what it is. Um, and it just, it, it, uh, I just never ended up picking up another one after that. Um, raw or nine fives at the time were much, much higher. And I was like, man, I don't really want to spend that kind of money on it. Uh, so I have the one still it's creased. Um, I'll probably get it slapped to PSA Authentic at some point. Um, but I've wanted this card for, for a minute. Um, so that was my thought process with this was um, pick up. I mean, this is this card is on fire right now. Uh, one MVP last year, probably the front runner for MVP now. He's up there with Luka and he's up there with LeBron. I mean, a couple guys are up there. Uh, but, I mean, dude's what, twenty? just turned 25 years old. Um and is the future of the league. I just think Giannis is is awesome. Uh, I wish I had more. Uh, I always tell a funny story that at one point uh, back in uh, like 2014, um, his second year, I had bought a lot of 27 base prism rookie cards. Uh, sent every one of them to Beckett. They got nine fives. I paid $10 a card on 27. It was $270 for 27 Giannis. Every one of them gemmed. It was like about 20 bucks a card to grade. And I was razzing them or uh, like trading them on uh, Instagram or selling them or razzing them on Instagram for six fifty dollars per. Uh, was making, you know, 30 bucks a card. I was like, dude, this is awesome. You know, I was obviously in a different place financially um, and was making, uh, you know, 30 bucks a card on, you know, 20 some cards. I was like, wow, this is great. And uh, those cards now, I think, do north of four um, 400. So, uh, certainly wish I would have kept them, but I was big on Giannis early. I just, basketball's never been the sport I've followed as much. I don't like know the prospecting as well. Football's always been my, my forte. Um, so I was on him early, but wish I would have been really on him early. Like some of these guys, uh, there's a kid on Instagram. I, I, uh, I would recommend checking out. I'll just plug him here. Uh, but his name, his username is rips, R I P P S cards. His name's Adam. Uh, he has one of the nicest Giannis collections I've ever seen. And, uh, I'm not even sure he's 19 years old. I mean, Adam's young, uh, but it is one of the nicest Giannis collections I've seen. He was buying them early, early, early. Um, and it, it was a gold mine. Uh, so I encourage you guys to check him out. Adam's got a great collection. He's a nice guy. Um, good kid. So, um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is what I ended up with. Um, no one-on-one. Uh, no one on ones, no, you know, high end autos, just two staple basketball cards. Uh, Giannis nine five ten, uh, Prism Silver, a card I've I've or nine five Prism Silver, a card I've definitely wanted, uh, and then a LeBron. Again, I talked about the LeBron numbers. There has not been a Giannis nine five sell in uh, I don't believe ninety days. There was a BGS nine that sold in November for twenty six hundred. And a PSA 10 that sold on Christmas for $72.50. Uh, I have a feeling that this would sell for $5,000 at least at bids right now. Um, I don't really want to sell it. It would be close to see which one of these would do. They'd probably do pretty close to the same. Um, but I don't really want to sell. I won't sell. don't really want to sell either one of them. Um, the only card I want more of Giannis than this is the next day, 9 5 10. Um, that is my one of my favorite sets. I put the set together in 15, 16. Uh, and wish I would have bought a Giannis then because he was the two years before. Uh, but the next day, 9, 5, 10 is definitely one of the cards I want to own of Giannis at some point. So, uh, again, don't mean to rant. I just, again, try to explain to you guys what uh, what's going through my head in this process. Uh, you can, you know, 
take it for what it's worth, laugh at it, uh, use it, you know, whatever that case may be. But I just like to explain what my thought process is when going through, uh, you know, this is a five figure deal. This isn't your, you know, your everyday uh, swapping jersey card type deal. This is, uh, this is one of the bigger trades I've ever made. And I know it's small to compare to, compared to what uh, some trades some people have made. But um, just to give you an idea of what was going through my uh, my head when I uh, when I made probably the biggest trade I've uh, I have ever made. Um, so yeah, again, just wanted to share. But there you go, LeBron tops Chrome Refractor PSA nine and a Giannis nine five Prism Silver. So trade is good, and that is all I got for now, guys. Have a good one. Peace.